some incredible PBA career accomplishments compiled by our outstanding finals field for this one here tonight. ESPN and the PBA present the championship round finals of the Greater Harrisburg Open. We're located this evening in picturesque Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, a suburb of the state's capital, Harrisburg, for tonight's championship round final to the Greater Harrisburg Open. Welcome to ABC West Lanes, located in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Well, you heard Chris Warren. What more do you want? We've got all the games. Well, uh, I also heard Pete Weber predicting scores. We hope that comes true. It doesn't always follow suit. Interesting practice session. The players have played all over both of the championship round pair of lanes, 33 and 34. And Walter Ray opens up with a near 2810. Interesting uh, that he was going high on that lane the whole practice session. And like he did a couple of weeks ago, it comes out really throwing hard right away, harder than he was in practice. Amazing, he is so accurate that he takes a non-reactive polyurethane, polyester ball, and goes straight at that 2-8 that you have to hit dead flush to make, and he, no trouble, dead eye. Bob Espy from Coral Springs, Florida, averaged 240 throughout the week on this pair of lanes. Interesting, because during the practice, Bob Vespi had very little shot. As the oil started to carry down the lane, it got better and better. The PBA here is oiling 32 feet, buffing to 35, which means the last 25 feet of the lane are bone dry. And we can see right there that he's setting it down. He's belting about seven and a half boards and seven, almost 17 miles per hour. He had a lot of wild shots in practice. Looks like he stood in one spot for a long time to try and create a little carry down and manufacture a shot of his own. Well, you know, that proves he's thinking. You know, I remember Jimmy Certain used to do things like that when he uh, get on a telecast, try and create an area of the lane that he could play in. The guys predominantly this, this week have played outside. The PBA uh, figured that they'd be playing outside with their lane maintenance set up here as Walter just stuffs it from the outside. Walter A, five-step player. The head is very, very steady. Pushes it out right at this point. Head and shoulders go forward. Slides right on up there. You can see the balance right here in line. That left arm going out there like no one else does. Walter Ray winning all eight matches last night. Coming from behind. And he ends up with a nice double. Did you notice how the nice balance that he had right there at the finish? You know, as he, he just... Went into the slide, completely in balance, and zipped right through that shot. That was a strike for the moment it left his hand. Into the lane again for Vespi, wide arcer. And uh, Michael, we're seeing about as far apart on the spectrum as you could possibly get between these two. Vespi, a power player. Covers a lot of boards on the lane with a real cupped wrist. Watch his wrist there. As he gets to the backswing, look at the elbow is bent right here. The wrist is cupped. Now watch as he comes right through and just forces it through, rolls that wrist right through the ball. Two different styles. Both can be successful. Oh, he has opened up beautifully, Mike, and uh, you know that Bob Vespi was really hoping to get off to a fast start against Walter Ray. We'll be back with more of match number one from ABC West Lanes in Mechanicsburg after this time. This ESPN Classic Program is brought to you by American Airlines. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. Hi, it's Daddy. So I'm on my way to the airport. I'm going to see you soon. Okay, I'm at the airport now. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I got you a present. It's me again. I'm about to get on the plane, so I'm going to see you real soon. I love you. She's not on the couch again, is she? Susie? You're not on the couch again, are you? That's Italian leather. And you know leather's a no-no for you. I'm not going to go. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. And when you fly American, get our lowest fares at AA.com, guaranteed.
Your engine knows what it wants. Pennzoil Platinum. Relearn what you know about synthetic at PennzoilPlatinum.com. Hello, sir. 20 minutes away. Yes, sir. Bye. Prices, I 160 channels of rap, rock, sports, and more with XM Satellite Radio at Avis. Just another way we try harder. It's real now! It's coming! I can hear their bombs and I'm afraid. Welcome to the sub. I love this sub. Your head. Ooh, wow. Now on DVD. Why are we wearing these outfits? I thought we should practice our Irish step dancing to celebrate the St. Patrick's Day season. We're cooking now. Oh, maybe all we need for St. Patrick's Day is our Guinness. Ouch! All we need is Guinness. Brilliant! Brilliant! Enjoy Guinness Draft responsibly during the St. Patrick's Day season. For back pain? Or sore knees? You need more than support. You need support and pain relief. Only from Icy Hot Pro Therapy. Unique neoprene support braces with special icy inserts to dull pain or hot inserts to relax it. Icy Hot Pro Therapy. Count on it. Tonight on ESPN Classic. At 7, host Josh Elliott ties today's sports stories with the past. Classic now. At 8. A 2002 super bantamweight bout between Oscar Larios and Israel Vasquez. And it's end. Our classic comedy block of Arliss and Cheap Seats. It's all tonight on ESPN Classic. Take a look at uh, the players and the positions they held round after round. Well, Bespy <laughs> didn't get off to too good a start. B. Weber uh, had a number of different players in first place. Randy, the only time he was there, the end of that last game. How about Walter Ray? Right, just, just inched along. Inch by inch. And when it counted, he was there. A lot of speed. Does he get the pin action? Yes, he does. That's important. You come back out of that commercial break, keep your speed up. That's what I used to tell myself, you know, because the tendency would be to get a little soft then. And to get that strike. Now, one more, and he's right even with best speed. See the score. A lot of strikes already. Mm -hmm. Maybe Pete Weber was right, huh? Seven out of eight. That's a hurry. Walter Ooh. was given it the wind-up move, and now he's got Ooh. himself a bit of a predicament. And again, that was like a force shot there. I mean, he's throwing really hard on that lane, but that wasn't nearly as clean or as on balance as the shot that he threw in the uh, third frame there. Two, seven, eight. This ball comes in light. You know, anything can happen when you hit it there. You got a really a bad break by the four pin falling over. A little different hand action, a little more hook, and the most accurate spare shooter on the tour takes care. But the question is, then, was he was he trying to play play it that way, or was he aiming to the right of the two pin? <laughs> He'll never tell us. Now, no, he, at the two eight, he threw the plastic ball. At this one, he throws his regular urethane ball, hits it on the left. I don't think he was aiming to hit it on the left. Myself. Best be here or something. There's some kind of clicking noise going on. I don't know what it is. Oh, what a nice break there. Got it into the oil a little bit early and, and it held and came up light in the pocket. You know, it's still and struck there. Ball over about the third row out to maybe the fifth board on that lane. Now, they, he had been getting about the, the 12th board, and this one's closer to the 15th, I would think. Well, you look at the difference between these two. Vespi throwing it about 16-8, and Walter Ray's last shot on lane 33 was 19-2. Wow, six in a row. Looks like the 16-8's uh, uh, prevailing right now. And the animated one, Bob Vespi, starts to pump a little iron. Well, he will get animated when he starts stringing strikes. He's an emotional player. Ah. 
Walter Ray with another strike on 34. But he finds himself trailing and has from the opening gun. Well, the, the lane 33 is the, the, the key for him right there. He's got uh, two shots left on that lane. If he can find a way to hit it both times. Walter, 19.4. Basically, you know, he's, he bellies it at about three boards. What a difference in styles. And the ball doesn't make it up again. You see him throw his hands up in the air. I mean, he felt like he made the adjustment through a good shot. But he could tell at, at, at 30 feet that the ball wasn't going to make it back. Nails a two pin, but a little consolation to him at all as he just falls further and further behind. No margin for error against the guy who opens with the first six. Hi. Just kind of a defensive shot there. Uh, not as nearly as aggressive as Vespi usually is. Switches balls to shoot the three pin. Wants to go straighter at this. <laughs> Every spare is an adventure with Bob. A little smile on his face there. Trying to end a two-year drought here this evening. It has really been a test of a time for him over the last couple of years. And a lot of times it's, it's something that a lot of bowlers go through out here. They make it through it, they're better bowlers for it. Wild shot again, gets the Brooklyn. Stood straight up and grabbed himself a big time break. We'll be back with the conclusion of game number one from the Greater Harrisburg Open right after these messages. What's cooking at Stouffer's? A whole menu of restaurant inspired dishes. Corner Bistro Entrees from Stouffer's. Six delicious entrees like seafood scampi, shrimp and scallops tossed in a buttery garlic sauce and served over linguine pasta. It's not what you'd expect from Frozen, but it is what you'd expect from Stouffer's. Try our full menu at Corner Bistro Entrees and see what's cooking at Stouffer's. On the eve of this year's NCAA Games, Sports Century profiles the winningest coach in men's college basketball history, Dean Smith, innovator. They had what they call four corners. It revolutionized basketball because it forced basketball to put in a shot clock. His system. I was kind of a dictator. You could say maybe a nice dictator. And winning the big one. You could see true intensity and you know, passion to win. I admired that. Sports Century. Dean Smith, 8 p.m. March 15th on ESPN Classic. At New England Brickmaster, we use only three-quarter inch solid Portland cement on all of our exterior surfacing. Brick face, stucco, stone face, acrylic stucco. Custom colors and patterns are all hand sculptured into masonry masterpieces. Is it brick or is it Brickmaster? When your house looks this good, it's impossible to tell the difference. Call now before spring and save up to $2,500 on a masonry job. Call New England Brickmaster today. CNBC Weekdays. Wake Up Call covers your world from every perspective. Let's see how the greenback is faring this morning. With fast-paced reports and innovative insight. We have some breaking news to tell you about. It's everything you need to know for the business day ahead. Wake Up Call. Weekdays, 5 a.m. Eastern, on the world leader in business news. CNBC. Brought to you by ING Direct. If you live life looking up, you deserve a savings account that makes your savings go up. ING Direct Orange Savings Account. Save your money. Has to hurry. Does. Still alive. He's been there all night on the right hand lane. Yeah, the right lane. This is the key shot. I mean, he can still go off eight. the sheet for 247 as Paige looks on. She's seen a lot of these games before. Mm -hmm. You know, she's an excellent horseshoe pitcher herself. Yeah, she really Not in Walter's class, but she, she does very well. Got to have this one. Sets him up for a possible 247. Vespi going to a 249 clip right now, but the last two shots have been wild by Vespi. Light the last two times. That looks better. All right. He's just got to splice the board over there. He's got to be dead-eyed. Terrific adjustment by Walter Ray, giving himself a chance. A chance. 
see how Vespi responds now. Needs to be aggressive right here. Give it room. Did two lucky breaks, breaks up the 3-10 both times on that lane. See, right now, I think what's going through his mind is the struggle of the last year or two. And he sees he's got a great chance to win this game, but he's just not able to make the shot that he needs to make to put him away. Three pin disappears. Do you think he's conscious of the fact, Mike, that he's not throwing and executing right now? Oh, yeah, the last, last three shots, yeah. Not like, he didn't throw them like he did the first six, but right now he's in the situation that if he goes nine spare strike, he's gonna shut him out. So he needs to summon some courage. Exactly. Yeah, that ball room. Yep. Yep, no question about that, Michael. I think you were right on the button with that assessment because he just glided right along with the first six and then all of a sudden lost it. This one, he gave the room, gets it out to about the third board, he comes back, snaps out that half pocket, virtually locks up the match. And he knows it. Interesting, last year he bowled a terrific game and lost to the eventual champion, Brian Davis. Bowled 245 and lost to Davis and shot 258 at him. More room, solid 10, but... That's enough, he's, even if he misses it, he's a winner. He's got 248 if he misses it. Walter Ray with a quick handshake there and uh, admitting defeat. So for Walter Ray, uh, nine appearances in the championship round this year. Still just one victory, but assembling an incredible year for a player that has just one title. Uh, yeah, made 143,000 coming into this tournament. Uh, his only consolation here is, is he's not going to finish second. Good point. Well, Walter had that lane, didn't he? Just never missed it. We'll have to ask him about that left-hand lane a little later on. Well, you know, he, he can finish this game out for 247, have seven strikes on this right lane, and nine strikes overall, and not win the match. In fact, Vespi only got eight strikes. Walter could outstrike him and lose. Our top five averaged nearly 230 on this pair of lanes throughout the week. Of course, remember a year ago, Mike, 21 300 games in this tournament. This year, only two. Chris Warren threw one of them. Yeah. And 299 in the championship match a right. year ago. Shot obviously toned down considerably. But look at the final five. Cream comes to the top. Huh? Paul Array with one more. Could shoot 247. They'll make it 246. An excellent opening game here. Very competitive. Vespi survives. In sports, if you want to know where you're going, LeBron. you've got to know where you've been. Jordan, look at that. On Classic Now, we tie the past to the present. From Unitas to Marino to Manning, Will to Kareem to Shaq, Koufax to Clemens to, well, Clemens. Every weeknight, host Josh Elliott brings you the sports news like you've never seen it before. So where does this Colts team rank all time? Classic Now, where the past is always present. Weeknights at 7 and 11, only on ESPN Classic. When I look back on everything, I see over 100 years of history, 100 years of moments, Moments we savor with the champagne of beers. Because that's when you shine. And when you shine, I shine. I'm the girl on the moon. And I want to tell you everything I know. Everything there is to savor. Everything. <laughs> you know, Radio Shack has got a great deal with buy one, get one free Sprint picture phones. And you can get the fair and flexible America plan for families. That way you can keep in touch and feel the love the whole family has to offer. And anyone who has a family knows that keeping in touch with one another is what it's all about. So go right around the corner to Radio Shack today and save yourself money. Guys? Guys? For the best wireless phones and accessories, come to Radio Shack. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Look! Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no! What's going on in there? Oh, no! Sorry. 
the Flamethrower Grill Burger at Dairy Queen with jalapeno bacon and Tabasco flavored mayo in half pound and quarter pound. Do one carefully. I was at this party with Jim when he realized his Western wear was drawing the wrong kind of attention. So, to make up for it, he came up with a multi-beer strategy. Basically, it's making your way through a crowd with a couple of Miller High Lifes. Gives people the idea you got something going on. Connections. No matter what kind of hat you wear. Welcome back to ABC West Lanes in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, a suburb of Harrisburg. Bob Bespy to start match number two, coming off a 249-246 victory over Walter Ray Williams, Jr. P. Weber's still covering a lot of boards. It'd be interesting to watch, even more than, than Bespy's covering. Ooh, you got it back. <laughs> well, Michael. Well, see, I never threw why, one like that, Dennis. Why so, would you be so nervous about that shot? Well, this I is Bespy. Got close to that edge. I now. understand that. Got real close there. You see that he bellied that ball over 11 boards, about 11 boards. To it steady at 16.4 miles per hour. Whoever really sent it in wide comes out with an X of his own on lane 34. So we're going to watch the circle pattern here in game number two. Again, it, it, it's an outside shot. Pete Weber starting it way inside, getting it outside down the lane. Our all-time leading money winner, over a million six. Really? 32 now. I can remember when he was 18. Just had a birthday the other day. Brooklyn. Oh, and if you see that on replay, you'll see the head pin turn sideways and go into the 5-9. What must he be thinking right now after that shot? Watch this. Watch the head pin, Dan. Boom. I can remember sitting back watching my parents bowl at Sun Valley Bowl years ago. And a lady bowling carrying strike after strike, just like that. <laughs> they had been going Brooklyn, they had been turning sideways and carrying the 5 9. His best he leaves the 4 pin. Double duty. Has to be changing equipment to shoot the spare. I'd be interested to know, Mike. Why Bob maybe hasn't gone to throwing the ball a little bit straighter at the spares? Probably he's experimenting with it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's tough for his mentality as much as he likes to turn it loose. Even at the spares, he's going to have to hook it so. Well, I'll tell you, Dan, as he goes on in his career, in order to, to really maintain it, I think he's going to have to develop that. You've got to be a good spare shooter out here, too, not just a great strike bowler. Especially in the championship round. Especially, right. I mean, you just can't afford to give away frames. Open frames are like, here are like turnovers in football. Turn it out to the weeds and gets the message back for the 10 pin. Weber with that five-step approach. Watch the high backswing. Kind of creeps up there. See that high backswing. Now he drives forward into that final slide. Look at how good balance. Left arm out there. And that follow-through. I mean, really, he, at the foul line, he looks marvelous. Just solid. One of the great stylists of all time. And what you have to realize, too, as he leaves the 10 pin, is he wasn't the only Weber that competed this week. PBA Hall of Fame father Dick also played in the tournament this week. Didn't get to the match play finals, but he bowled nonetheless. And bowled pretty well early on, from what I heard. You know, Pete has that high backswing, but as you watch him in person, it doesn't appear to be that high. Not like it 10 years ago when he was really, it seemed like he was almost going to fall over backwards. It was so high. Another tickler for Vespi. And I had a chance to ask him, Bob, why have you done so well here at ABC West Lanes? Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a long time since I made a show here. It's been one year. This is, la this is the last show I made. Uh, I bowled quite well on that show. I shot a 245 and lost to Brian Davis with a bad break. 
And uh, I think if I bowl good tomorrow, the, uh, if I get off to a good start, I think I'll be good for the whole show. The point is, I just got to be aggressive the whole show. I just haven't been aggressive in a year, so uh, I won't know until I get there. 3-6-10 in the left-hand lane. Looked like he cut that one off a little yep. short. He's got to give it the room. You know, he almost got it out to the edge. As his dad looks on, I know I'm in trouble when I'm older than the fathers. Well, you got to realize, Mike, that that's pretty much how it's going to happen from yeah, here on. Right. So you got to accept it. That was his dad. I mean, I, mean, I hope everybody picked <laughs> up on that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that young-looking guy was his dad. Right. Yeah. Back to work now for Weber. Winner of this match takes on the always excitable Chris Warren and then steady Randy Peterson who led this one is our top seat. Now in practice, as Pete leaves a 10 pin, he threw three or four channel balls. Swinging at that moment much, trying to get it out to about the first or second board at 40 feet. You make a little mistake and he goes right on in. Interesting to compare when you look at these two players, Mike, between their break points, where they're looking to get the ball to start the angle back. See there, there's the difference in the, in the match right now. Weber ahead by 11 pins. Pete Weber, million six. Marshall still way up there. And Albie Roth, Walter Ray creeping up. Great shot by Pete Weber, this time on lane 33. So he's made the adjustment on the left-hand lane as well. Let's see if he can hang on to it. Mespy and Weber locked up in a very good second match here. And we'll be back with a conclusion right after this timeout. Recently, I went to my GM dealership for an oil change. Mr. Goodwrench noticed my tires were really worn. I had them replaced, and that same night, I got caught in a sudden storm. The road was like an ice rink. A car spun out in front of me, but I was able to maintain control. Thanks, Mr. Goodwrench. No problem. It's what we do. GM Goodwrench. Because who knows what's down the road? I'm a curious kind of guy. I want to know how things work, what makes them tick. So I was glad when my doctor prescribed Nexium for my acid reflux disease. I got the purple pill and signed up for a great program from Nexium. It's called Purple Plus. To learn more about Purple Plus, call 1-888-415-7310. I got newsletters with diet and lifestyle tips, a CD of recipes, and a free trial offer for Nexium. Now I know more about acid reflux and how to manage it. Mints can trigger heartburn. My doctor said just one prescription Nexium pill a day can relieve my heartburn for 24 hours. He also said I could still have other serious stomach conditions and that headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain could be side effects of Nexium. Ask your doctor if switching to Nexium is right for you. To learn more about Nexium and Purple Plus, call 1-888-415-7310. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. Haven't talked to either one of them. Ooh, the light seven pin. Almost. Best be hanging around in this match, but Pete Weber looks like he's got that uh, big circle hook lined in pretty well right now. Best be at the seven pin. Remember when I was talking about the uh, the break point? Watch the break point in Bespy. Much sooner than, than uh, Weber's, yeah. right? Completely different. And then Chris Warren and Randy Peterson, I think those are, theirs are pretty similar. In but the way they're way down the lane, yeah, no question. In practice, Randy had the best shot. Mm, by far. Double Brooklyn. Oh, a no shovel. A light blower <laughs> in August. <laughs> oh, Vespi with a huge oh. break there. Look at Pete's going, oh, no, don't tell me. A reverse blower here. This is where I always used to throw him when I needed a strike in the pot game. Just talk about shaking him up, and Bob stamped his foot. And he says, all right, perfect, perfect. 
Weber back to work. Ooh. There's just so many possibilities with that big hook that are bad. <laughs> the light, the 210, your high, all kinds of combinations. What, he doesn't lose count. If he can convert it, it's just like attempting. Nope. And we got a pretty even match right now, Dan. One mistake is all it takes. Beautiful shot the last time on lane 33. So let's see if Pete Weber can block out the bad break and start over. A lot of room. Oh, perfect. You're right. What a pretty shot on that lane. Weber just covering so many boards. It's just foreign to my thing. Seeing that out to maybe the second board at, at close to 50 feet. And then there's the break point. Well, this is a little bit further down the lane than it was when he initially started the championship round, but his is probably about 40 feet now. Well, again, you know, the thought in his mind is staying aggressive. You know, when he's not aggressive, he probably breaks sooner. And we can see that he's suddenly taking a 10-pin match or lead in this match now, heading to the ninth frame. Possible 246. At 249 in the opener. Now he needs to stay aggressive. Getting a lot of room. Boy, oh, that's as good a shot as he thrown tonight. Terrific shot by Vespi, who has now seized a bit of momentum here in match number two. But you don't get to 21 titles unless you are able to execute from behind and under pressure like Pete Weber. And he's got to. It's ninth frame. He's down 20. He's got to cut into that lead right now. Way out there. Juice and gets the job done. Beautiful oh. clutch shot. Wasn't that pretty? Well, it sets it up for the 10th frame. Pete can go out for 236. He needs the first one to get himself even in the match. Counts even. Thing is, if Weber strikes it out, he can't shut out Vespi. But at least he's posted the score. Oh, yeah. This is the big shot right here. His wife, Kim, looking on. Gorgeous as always. Perfect. And leaves the 10. Boy, he just threw that beautiful. Disappointment written all over his face. A tremendous effort in the clutch, but comes up with the 10. Ball comes in behind the head pin so much now that, you know, he can leave that 10 pin so easily. There was a rocket at the spare. Well, when you cross that many boards, it's a good news, bad news scenario. There are times when you don't carry as well as you'd like. He lost his <laughs> patch. Yeah, on his slacks. And lost the match as well. Well, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I know. That's what he's thinking. Yeah. Count could be important here. He needs to get all he can. Well, you know this was strike. Yeah, same basic hit, only he got the 10 out. That's what Pete's saying. Sure, now you strike. All right. Does be a little good. Yeah. But Vespi, who hasn't yet been tested in a while, is going to have to come up with something here in the 10. He's got to have a spare strike right now. know whether it would or not he didn't either he watched it all the way <laughs> held pocket perfect Weber gives him a high five and Vespi is two for two here giving these thanks right there mm -hmm. a wonderful shot by Vespi in the clutch and uh, with a strike here, a second game in the 240s. Ooh, Did you see that little, a little slide there, a little wow. tipsy do? Good bop, mopping off the brow <laughs> after that bad break. <laughs> well, forget 240, but 
More than enough as he puts on a little spare shooting exhibition as well. Nespy, two for two as he wins 231 to 215 over Pete Weber, who ends up fourth. When we come back, it'll be Chris Ward and Bob Nespy in the semifinal match. cars at our lowest prices at avis.com everyone can roll out in style just another way we try harder why are we wearing these outfits i thought we should practice our irish step dancing to celebrate the saint patrick's day season <laughs> All we need for St. Patrick's Day is our Guinness. Ouch! All we need is Guinness! Brilliant! Brilliant! Enjoy Guinness Draft responsibly during the St. Patrick's Day season. For back pain? Or sore knees? You need more than support. You need support and pain relief. Only from Icy Hot Pro Therapy. Unique neoprene support braces with special icy inserts to dull pain or hot inserts to relax it. Icy Hot Pro Therapy. Count on it. your high mileage engine what it wants. Switch to high mileage vehicle motor oil from Pennzoil. It's for engines with over 75,000 miles. No one ever woke up and said, I just want to be an ordinary scientist or an ordinary runner. So why would anyone want to be an ordinary investor? At E-Trade Financial, our technology challenges the ordinary, so investors can be extraordinary. Nespy, who opened big in game number one, has come out with a five-bagger here to start match number three. Of course, he started match number one with six. Mm -hmm. Oh, did that whole pocket? Did you see that? Woo! He's just banking at that. Well, he can strike. There's no doubt about that. Boy, he didn't get that one on near as wide as he has some of them. Still wound up flush in the 1-3. See that ball just rolling on towards the back end, right through the pins. Right through the pins, right, yeah. Starting to get pumped up here as well as the crowd. Out to almost the first board. That is the first board. And it comes back now in the last six or seven feet all the way to board 17. Well, actually, that'd be about board 60. I was going to say. But he'll take it. Absolutely. Pete, Warren didn't get up there for a while. It's like he didn't want to respond to that uh, out the window and back in slight strike. But now he's just basically is out of this match. Chris last night was the top seed player heading into the position round game and made one bad shot, lost the game to Randy Peterson, who took over the top seed position. And you can just see him kicking himself right now. First of all, I should have led this tournament, and second of all, I should have been bowling for the title. Right, and he still had a chance in the 10th grade, man. If he gets the second strike in the 10th, he leads the tournament. He left a four pin then. But he had a little malfunction with the machine at that time. He had to re-rack the pins or something like that. It kind of seemed to interrupt his concentration or his flow. 65 pins down. Open this match. Look how tough the competition is on the PGA Tour. The player of this performance could have to swap these hats. We talked about.
about that with George Branham III, a terrific player who came off an outstanding game. Yeah, I think that's a, a fair assessment. <laughs> Trying to stay perfect. Oh, he's locked in on lane 34. So this is the big shot, you think, over here, the I ninth frame? So. I think so. I think the key for him, he's got a ton of room on 33. If he sends it right, the ball will get back. But if he sets it a little short, it'll hook. But on 34, he can go either way. Yep. He's got the whole lane on 34. Well, he never takes very much time. He's up there ready to go. Uh-uh, Brooklyn. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, wait a minute. A couple of them. That's big. Oh, look at him. He says, I'll take anything I can get. Keep in mind, PBA is offering $10,000 for a perfect game. And Another problem for Chris Warren, who's just really trying to fill the frames right now. He grabs another ball, and he's up there in a heartbeat. He's going to finish this game out in a flash. Rack barely up. Open frame, and I had an opportunity to talk to Chris and ask him about, about his priorities and how they've changed now that he's married and expecting his first child. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Uh, yes, me and my wife, we're expecting our first child in uh, mid-October, so... Uh, yeah, things have changed drastically in my life. I uh, got married, settled down, fixed to have a child. Uh, things seem to be going good. So no matter what happens to him here tonight, obviously, he's on a roll. Chris Warren obviously disappointed with what's transpired in this one tonight, but uh, you can better believe he'll be back next week. Meanwhile, all eyes now on Bob Vespi, who has the first nine. It's there. No, it didn't make it. Boy, it just didn't make the turn. He leaves the two pin. Good try by Vespi. Looked like a pretty good shot. I thought, you know, it's so hard to read hit the reaction yes. on his ball uh, that it looked like it would make the turn. It just never did on this right lane that we could tell his ball holds pocket better over here. I wonder if he just came out of it a touch early. It didn't look like he stayed with it and got the leverage quite the way he had. It, could, it must have been something like that because it looked like it was pretty much on line. Right. It just didn't catch the handful that he normally does. Hmm. <laughs> Terrific game nonetheless. Started with the first nine. That's the one he was looking for right there. 279 for Vespi, who could have added 10,000 more had he shot a 300 game. Final score, 279 to 180. So Vespi in the title match against Randy Peterson, our top seed. Sunday on ESPN Classics, Jack Nicklaus, Tiger Woods, Carl Spackler. is in the home! See Chevy Chase. Stop thinking. Let things happen. And to be the ball. Ted Knight. Bill Murray. Gunga Galunga. Rodney Dangerfield. Let's go while we're young. And the Gopher. Star in Caddyshack. Real Classics. 8 Eastern Sunday. Only on ESPN Classic. 8 million. The advantage of bundling your services with Comcast? Think about it. In addition to great cable TV programming, Comcast brings you high-speed internet that's way faster than DSL, plus unlimited local and long-distance phone service with all the calling features you want for one low price. So reach for something more. Order both services together for just $69 per month for 12 months. So call 1-800-COMCAST today. Com. The process of searching for a new or used car has never been simpler. On one website are thousands of cars available in dealer inventories in your area. You can search by make, by body type, even by how much you'd like to spend. So if you're looking for a new or used car, search for it at dealers near you at vhicks.com. Roadmap to the automotive world. Interesting that Peterson and Vestry end up in the title match. 
don't think that they're necessarily the best, the of, best friends of friends in a little... competitive atmosphere. They shook hands. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the player that finished fifth for us tonight, Walter Ray Williams Jr., going to join us here uh, for some of the title match in the booth, and uh, we'll get his uh, assessment of this championship round pair. Randy Peterson had a great shot in practice, came out with too much speed, and ends up with a washout. And the same lane that gave Walter some trouble in that lane 33. Seems to hook more, but you throw it harder and it doesn't make it back, right? Well, I think what it is, uh, if you get in a little bit of the first, if you're left of the first arrow, it hooks a lot more, but once you start getting outside of it, it really goes straight. Randy came back after practice, throwing us after the second game, and said the left lane was hooking more. And I said, well, yeah, but when you start getting out, it, it goes really straight, and that's what happened. Peterson with an open has opened the door for Vespi, who jumped all over Chris Warren early on in the semifinal. Getting the eight pin out there, nice break. Uh, again, now that's a couple shots there where he's come up light on lane 34. Ball just doesn't seem to make the, the flip at the back end for uh, Bob on this right lane. It's funny, Walter Ray, because one of the comments that you made last night as Vespi gives it right back was, hey, these are all power players. What in the world am I doing in this field? <laughs> well, I bowled pretty well this week to stay in there, but um, the... Uh, the, uh, you know, the right lane there, he, he might have just started getting amped up and, and trying to get too much speed on it. And the was carrying down just a little bit. That one he really softened up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was just way soft. Comes up with a nice break on the left-hand lane. Hey, he's had that break uh, three or four times tonight where just the three pin, not the 310, not the 3610. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> And a mark. Yeah, he did that against me, too. <laughs> yeah, he did that a couple of times against you. Best Randy had some great breaks. Yeah, Randy using this, this goal ball, he went back and forth between two balls all week, and this one is for when the lanes are a little bit tighter, so the oil's carried down, and he needs to use this to try and get the ball back. Stretched out and made a quality shot there. Well, Ray, what does that do for you, confidence-wise, if you're Randy Peterson? Well, seeing that uh, Bob's struggling now, that's definitely going to make him feel better. Um, and it, the thing is, he's got to throw a good shot here and get the ball to the pocket. If he can do that, he's going to be tough to beat. Randy with kind of a hesitation right as he gets to the top of the swing. And so many players tonight with that high back swing. The back straightens out. Look at the follow-through straight through. Good balance at the line. Left the washout the last time on this lane. Moving inside. Better follow through that time. Key shot and a beauty for Peterson who bounces back nicely with a double. Randy, so often when you see that follow through cross in front of his body, the ball comes up light. When it goes right straight through, it goes right to target. All right, is Another it my break. imagination or... Is the right-hand lane starting to tighten up a little bit? I think it is. Um, I mean, every shot that I couldn't believe it right before we started our match with Bob, uh, the, the lanes just tightened up incredibly fast, especially the left lane for me. It, it just threw me off. I just didn't get a chance to get lined up on it. This time, no problem with the two pin. So with a player like Vespi, uh, you know, when that starts happening, then does he does he just try and overpower with more revs, or does he soften up with speed a little bit? He's, well, I, I can't say what he does, but what he should do is move a hair right, but he's afraid if he moves too far right, it's just going to jump left on him, like that. And he's been very fortunate on lane 33, at least two. I'm, I'm trying to remember, maybe even three Brooklyn strikes tonight on that lane. I think he's had uh, four. And so far in the title match, not a ball in the pocket. One other question here for Walter Ring. Do you bowl differently? When you know it's for the title, I mean, this guy's averaging 255 all the way coming into the title match, and he hasn't hit the pocket. Well, it was a fortunate 255. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't uh, right in the pocket every single time. He got a, quite a few breaks, and so really he was, you know, averaging 220, 225. But uh, the breaks and stuff gave him the big scores, and now he might be thinking about it. Randy Peterson looking for career title number 10. Oh, another beautiful shot. Randy taking advantage, seeing that his opponent right now is, is struggling, a little bit lost, and he jumps right on at it. See the follow-through right at the target again. 
and he literally jumps on him. <laughs> Giving Bob some of his own medicine. Yeah. Yes, right. Tried to help that one a little bit. The follow through went just a hair left and the ball didn't quite make it. That was a nice shot though. I wouldn't want to get the ball any further left or any further right on that lane. <laughs> Is it, it's, a, it's a touchy lane. I think it? so. I think he's got a better reaction on the right lane, but um, if he keeps it there, I think he's going to be just fine. Because right now, Bob doesn't have, to have a clue. Of course, Randy Peterson this week has meant a lot to him in terms of qualifying for the AMF Dick Weber Classic, which will be the opening stop on ESPN this fall. See Randy was in, I think, 24th. Ooh, three, four, six, seven. Light, light, and tries to make an adjustment. And we can see some of the other, the top 24 to qualify. Tremendous event, $60,000 for first. Pete Weber putting himself in good position tonight. Well, you know what's interesting? Pete will have to bowl Father Dick at one time during that event because all 30 players play each other at least one game in match play. So the question is, who will want to eat a root for? I know who I'm going with. <laughs> I'm going with the guy that's won in, what, five decades? Uh, Dick, yeah. now just pay attention. I want you to go to a 15-pound ball, first of all, for a little more speed. If you do that, you can beat it. And best, best be right now all over the lot, Michael. As we say, hasn't had a ball in the pocket yet. Yeah, he's just totally lost. He's trying to figure out what to do. The right lane was, he was light on it, and he finally made an adjustment. He just took the right too much for him. Meanwhile, Randy Peterson is nothing but poised and confident just out there executing shot after shot. And the game is just speeding by for Vespi. I mean, the frames are going by and he can't get the ball in the pocket as Becky looks on. He's anticipating that 10th win. And last night, Randy talked about the fact that Becky has never seen him win in person and he was really hoping that maybe end up in the winner's circle tonight. Don't know what it was that uh, disturbed him. Something that he heard at the point. Somebody started to applaud early. Randy uh, takes a lot of discipline to stop right in the middle, especially with that high back swing. You could hurt yourself. Randy in a commanding position here, just doesn't want to give it back. Back down. Wasn't able to regroup. Good break here, leaving only the 6'10. Walter Ray, at this point in time, if you're Randy Peterson, do you become a little more conservative? I don't see why. He's He's got a pretty decent reaction. He knows how to play the lanes. He just has to go out and make good shots. Hard and straight. And Randy Peterson also had an opportunity to chat with us just prior to the telecast. Well, I think a lot of it depends on the lane conditions and the scoring environment. If the scores are high, I mean, you got to get real aggressive because you, you got to throw strikes. If the scores are real low and the, and the pair's tricky, um, I don't know, I don't know if, you, you know, I don't want to say you have to be cautious, but maybe being careful, maybe that will determine, you know, how you play the, how you play the, uh, the lanes. A little more direct, maybe to try to stay out of trouble. question to him, Walter, was how you bowl from the number one position. I was wondering if you were listening as we see that Ernie Schlegel now has taken over from Carmen. <laughs> A couple of iron there. men, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this time, Vespi finds the pocket, but no luck in terms of carry. A little, low, a little light there. I mean, he, at least that was close. He hasn't even been close on the left lane. It's been a three-pin every time. Thing is, though, he still has a chance in this match if somehow he could uh, figure out a way to put it together here in the last three or four frames. What's so amazing to me is that Bob Vespi averaged eight strikes a game for the first three games. And hasn't had a strike in seven frames. That's, That's got a it. chance. All right. Has to feel a little better about that. Oh, yeah, but he's still... Bob's a really emotional player when he's when he's on and everything's going great. He's got the the emotion. It's just unbelievable. 
so proprietors when he, here. When he's not on, you exactly. it goes the other way. Exactly. He's probably really down on himself. There are the Bowers right there, the proprietors for our uh, ABC Westlake. <laughs> Wanted that one badly. Wanted that one real badly. That's his good lane. He hit the left lane. He wanted to take advantage. That puts him in a commanding 45-10 lead. Again, the follow-through right at the target. Nine pin was up there for a second. His reaction is controlled aggression. It was interesting because by far and away, he had the best ball reaction during practice. Walter, were you aware of that or do you not pay any attention? Well, for the most part, some of us were just trying to carry the oil down. I really wasn't trying to hit the pocket for a long time. Ooh. And the old equalizer, the 2-8-10, suddenly puts uh, Vespi with a chance here. <laughs> That's a tough spare to make. There's two ways. You can bounce it out of the pit, which is really the safest thing for him to do. The other thing to do is hit the 2 over into the 10 and have it ricochet under the 8. Have you ever done that? I've done it that way. Have you done it? Actually, I picked this bear up twice in my life and was both in the same game, and I did it both different ways. <laughs> <laughs> Back so in 1983. Pretty much looking for a break is what you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. Randy Peterson now with 180 through 9 mm -hmm. frame. Which means that if he could strike here, he could strike out for 200 even and put this match back even. Oh, my goodness. amazing. Reminds me of Steve Cook a few years ago. I was thinking of Joe Berardi, but... Yes. <laughs> now, Walter Ray, if you're Randy Peterson, you see that happen, what's that do to you emotionally? Well, I don't know. If I was Randy, I wouldn't have been watching. But uh, I don't know if he was watching. If he was, uh, that's definitely going to twinge at you because he knows he's been doing it all day. Um, it's just a matter of what Bob does here in attempt. He's got to give it room and be aggressive. He did give it room. Uh, and finally does leave the 310. But again, Walter said immediately as soon as he let it go, he didn't give it room. He's been living dangerously all night and gotten virtually every break in the book on the left-hand lane. Yeah, he's got quite a few breaks tonight. And he was in this match to the 10th frame, even though he hardly had a ball in the pocket. Well... Vespi, after averaging 255 for three games, ends up with 166. Randy Peterson going to waltz into career title number 10 oh, as that he trips out the two pin. That's what Bob was looking for last game. <laughs> and it's the second victory of the year yeah, now for Randy right. Peterson. A long way back for him just a couple of years ago. Was wondering how long it was going to be before he could bowl again after the knee surgery. And Vespi, with a brilliant performance for three games, falls a little bit short. And in the last three years, he's now finished first, second, and third here at ABC West Lanes. Well, he's covered all the bases. Mm. And he crunches it right in there. Very professional game, but uh, Vespi really never could attack him. Shows you how tough it is to win out here. And he was very serious last night talking about when his wife would be here. And he was really hoping he could win with her in the audience. It would mean so much to him. And obviously, uh, Randy Peterson... Very emotional. Tears in the eyes, you can see that. I asked him last night, before it all started, how important would it be to win this one this evening? It's, um, it's real big. You know, my wife's coming in, and I get to win a tournament with her being there. So, um, definitely be real emotional for, uh, for me to, to pull this one off with her being here. All right, Randy Peterson, the winner. Well, Randy, uh, on behalf of everyone here at ABC West Lanes, I'll have, um, proud to present you with the championship trophy. Congratulations. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. Jack. Yes, Randy, it's my pleasure on behalf of my family to present you with a check for $16,000. Congratulations. Thank you very much.